Hello, this is Greg Deckler for Enterprise DNA. And today we're going to be look, taking a look at the PowerShell commandlets for Power BI, how to install them and briefly how to use them, including kind of the Swiss Army knife uh, of invoking the REST API. Okay, so to get started with the PowerShell commandlets for Power BI, come down here to your search and you can type in the word PowerShell. And so Windows PowerShell comes up, it's an app. And you can either click on the run as administrator over here, or you can right click it and say run as administrator. You will need to run it as administrator to install the PowerShell modules or commandlets successfully. Okay, so now once you're in PowerShell, you need to use the install module command. So install mod dash module dash name Microsoft Power BI MGMT, Microsoft Power BI Management. So we can hit enter there. And that's going to take a couple minutes here. So while that's going on, we're going to come back to here. And there are a number of different modules that you can see here. Um, they all roll up into the global Microsoft Power BI management module that installs all of these different modules. We're working with uh, the admin functions, capacities, profiles, reports, workspaces, data. And they do. And there is good documentation here on how to install them and how to use them. And as I mentioned, if we scroll down, we get to the invoke Power BI REST method. So there are different PowerShell functions uh, or commandlets and functions that you can use, but it doesn't cover the full breadth in, uh, of the Power BI REST APIs. So if we take a look, so this is the method that you can use to run any of the Power BI REST API methods. So as you can see over here, we have a long list of these different, uh, <laughs> different REST API methods that you can use. Um, and they cover everything from apps, the admin features to capacities, dashboards, data flows, you name it. There's a ton of them out there for working with uh, workspaces or groups, uh, push data sets even, and just a long list of these. And they're all documented and pretty well documented how to do these. So if we like, you know, get data sets as admin, we take a look at that, it shows you exactly how to invoke, you know, that in terms of, you know, in what parameters to put in place and all of that. All right, so let's go check our PowerShell. All right, so it's prompting us. We say, yes, we want to install these. And so now it should come up and start installing these modules for us. There it goes. So as you can see, it's installing all of those different sub modules. OK, so let's hit enter here. We'll have to wait a few minutes here. OK, so now that it's installed, it took a couple minutes there. Uh, so now what we're going to do is the first thing you need to do is you need to connect to the Power BI service. You need to log in. So we can use this connect dash power BI service account. Hit enter there. All right, so now we're connected. So there we go. So then we have different uh, functions that you can uh, provide. So for example, get power BI workspace dash all. We run that. You can see back here I have a test workspace and then I have a data mark testing workspace. I'm actually connected to right here is the tenant and there's my test workspace, for example. Uh, we can do different things like we can actually like upload or publish a PBX file. So I'll paste this in this command in here. So new dash power BI report dash path, the path to the PBX file dash name. I give it the name network days and then I do dash workspace and I run another function here. Get dash power BI workspace dash name test. If I enter this, if I hit enter on this. Should upload that PBX file and publish it to the service. So there you can see. It's added the network days data set. It also has a network days report that's associated with it. You come back here and so you can see it's been uploaded. OK, now I had mentioned the invoke dash Power BI REST API method. So again, there are functions for certain REST API methods, but not all. So if we go ahead and do that, so this I'm getting the available features that are available. I can also do an invoke uh, Power BI REST method API in order to get the users of a particular workspace. So there we go. We'll grab the users of this workspace right here, or maybe this one was the uh, the data mart one. Okay, well, that's really all there is for this video. So again, there's a tremendous amount of power um, that, that administrators and developers and other people can get by using these APIs to automate certain processes. So I encourage you to go out and uh, try these PowerShell commandlets for yourself. And that's all for this video. Hope you have a good day.